But I must defend this situation. Mm -hmm. I have eight children. And eight beautiful babies. I'm I sure. will not. No baby mother of mine could ever say that she's a single mother. Because single mother insinuates that she has no help. So for me in my situation, mm -hmm. life be life. In. That's a common. Yeah, it does. I agree. And my situation is a product of life, life happening. Mm -hmm. So and none of us are exempt from it. Of course. <laughs> right. So right. we have preferences. 100%. We have things that we could say, OK, I would love to do this. Right. I'm raised in a church. So my father would always direct us to say, hey, be this, be that, be that, be this. Right. But I can also tell my father this. Your reality mm -hmm. is not my reality. 100%. You walking into 7-Eleven is different than your son walking into 7-Eleven. Sorry. Makes sense to you. So I can agree with you, and we can agree to disagree, mm -hmm. that I'm not creating broken homes. I'm doing the best with the situation that I was given and am given. Mm -hmm. So hands-on father, absolutely. I don't ascribe to just bringing fatherless children or motherless children into this world. I have an unbelievable relationship with the mothers of my children. Mm -hmm. And it's healthy co-parenting that we show the children real love real communication, right. real orders of operations. And I think that's key because even though we have this unspoken societal pressure to do this and be this, but that's just not, that's a unicorn that you're waiting for. Because if I'm sitting up here telling you like, yo, I have aspirations to have this, mm -hmm. but my experiences have shown me that that person really doesn't exist. So when I'm asking or I'm asked questions of is the expectations unrealistic? Right. Because my reality has garnered unbelievable connections with women around the world. Mm -hmm. Not in Africa. I haven't been in Africa. <laughs> right. But at the same time, I've been able to make the best of my situation. And I can't say that that situation ever resulted into a broken home. Got it. So this is my thing. Um, you can label it whatever your um, her ego needs it to be labeled so that her? you feel good about your choices. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, um, a family consists of a dynamic. And that dynamic consists of two parents and a child. And when you start to create that multiple times, that's called a blended family. Mm -hmm. And when there's somebody missing from the home, but they are the school daddy, meaning I pick them up or drop them off to school, or they are the sports mother or father, I come to the games, but they're not the, I wake up and go to sleep with my kids. That household now is broken by the, hold on, by the family dynamic. Okay, hold on, I'm, that doesn't mean that does not mean, You're Cam. You're not describing me. That does not mean, Cam, that you are not a dynamic father. That does not mean that you don't have a great relationship with him. I'm talking about the political construct of a family. Societal construct, if, political if, construct. If, if, that's, you if you want to, but, but that's you're, what I'm saying. You're, you're if you want to call things, it that, that's fine. But that, but th listen. Those our, things that you. Whatever we label express, it doesn't change I our do decisions, that, though. though. That's what I'm trying to... That's what you don't understand. So all of your baby mamas live in one house? No, they do okay. not. But my children stay with me. So so then so then it's still a broken house. So the mothers aren't in your home. They're, so it doesn't make a difference. But that's making the best of the situation. Right. And this, listen, and let me say this. That part, I agree with. Mm -hmm. That part, I admire in you. Okay. That part... I think is amazing. Right. Cam, look at me. That part, I say thank you mm -hmm. for being a man who's vertical, who stood up and dealt with his decisions, whether it was decisions you liked or you didn't, or you planned or you didn't, mm -hmm. and you did what you had to do. That's called a man, baby. So thank you for being a man. Yes, ma'am. And doing your thing, seriously, mm -hmm. with the best that you have. I think, no, sir, I think that's amazing. Right. And I, and again, and I say this 
follow up, not to negate everything I just said, because I truly yeah, yeah, believe that and feel you? that. And I love that you did that. You <laughs> didn't leave them fatherless. Yeah. My father didn't leave me fatherless. It changed my life because he didn't leave me fatherless. Mm -hmm. I used to sit with him randomly and say, Daddy, thank you. For what? For not making me a fatherless little girl. Because mm. I ain't out here desperate. And I got a daddy I can come home and nest in. I got a daddy I can come home who's a gangster, a street dude. I can make a phone call and you and there. It's done. And you there. Mm. So I ain't looking for no street, excuse my language, nigga, to save me. Mm. I, got, I, I, don't, I got my savior. I'm good. Mm -hmm. And the street dude to save me may crucify me. I'm good. Daddy ain't going to crucify me. See, there's a difference. So with you, I'm saying thank you because my father has six of us by five different women, but he was a father. And so when you say, Doc, but I'm a daddy, don't negate that, I hear you more than you believe me hear you because I had a daddy who was a father and he wasn't in the house with all of us. But from a woman who was a little girl who had the best daddy I've seen a girl have straight up to this day. Am I saying you ain't, but that's my daddy. Mm -hmm. I wasn't in the house with him. So the things that whoever he was in the house with, that environment is different from me coming over and seeing it. Now, for your babies, they all live with you. Their environment is different from when they go with mommy and mommy has whoever's in that house. So the roles have just switched, mm -hmm. but it still makes not the kids, hear me out, it still makes the household dynamic is a blended broken household. It doesn't mean that your babies have to grow up broken. This is what I want to be clear on. It doesn't mean that you as a father can change their life. I am, listen, I beat the odds of being a baby mama because I had a daddy mm -hmm. that wasn't in the house, but he was in my life. He was in my ear. He was in my ass right. about decisions. So this is why I'm saying the household baby is still broken, but it doesn't mean your kids have to be. But it's about coming into awareness of what really is. And like my father knew, he had blended families, broken homes. But he tried to overcompensate, and he did in every way he could by being a daddy. So that's all I'm saying is we can label it what we want. Mm -hmm. But the reality is this is what a blended family looks like. Mm -hmm. Unless you're telling me it's polyamorous and you're not. This is what a broken household looks like. Now, let me go further. Do broken households, broken households make for good people? You damn right. I'm not a statistic. I ain't perfect. I work through my stuff. I come from the inner city of the hood. I'm a product of teenage parents, a dope dealer and an addict who is now sober and killing it. My mom is a VP of my company, runs everything, got her own business, and I'm a doctor. So people like me come from situations like that. So I'm always advocate for it, but I'm always keep it real about what it is. Cause in order for us to take it and heal it and do something with it, we gotta call a damn duck, a duck. So we know where to put it, what to feed it, how to do it and what it needs. We can't be in this society as black people and wanna give things different words so that it makes us feel better about our decision. The decision is made. It is a broken home. It is a blended family. And now what are we going to do with these beautiful babies? So that your son, you got, you got boys? I'm guessing out of eight, you got to have some boys. So that your boys make different and better decisions than daddy did. Not that you didn't do the best of what you had, but so your boys can say, daddy, I admire you, but I did it different.